Let us rejoice and exult for joy, for the Lord of all has shown his love for a holy and glorious virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Thank you, brothers and sisters, on this day as we celebrate the memory of St. Clair of Assisi, uh, a virgin known to God and to the church for her sanctity, for her complete dedication to prayer and the contemplative life. Let us call to mind our own desire to be united with our Lord and recognize our sins, the sins that divide us from God and from one another. And so that we might worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us come before God asking for forgiveness and for mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much rubbish, and that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having righteousness of my own based on the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ the righteousness from God, depending on faith to know him and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by being conformed to his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I, for my part, do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing, forgetting what lies behind, but straining forward to what lies ahead. I continue my pursuit toward the goal, the prize of God's upward calling in Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, you are my inheritance, O Lord. You are, you are my, my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion of my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You, you are, are my inheritance, O Lord. Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, and delights at your right hand forever. You, you are, are my, my inheritance, O Lord. Lord. Alleluia, ah, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Peter said to Jesus, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, St. Clair died on this day in the year 1253 at just 59 years of age. Pope Innocent IV, who was the reigning pontiff at the moment of her death, had known Claire personally for many years. He even traveled from Rome to Assisi to be present for her funeral, an unusual and high honor. He was so convinced of her sanctity that he wanted to canonize her immediately, dispensing with the usual five-year process. Rather than have a requiem mass, he wanted to celebrate a mass in honor of a holy virgin, which is the mass that we celebrate today. Only the objection of the Franciscan Master General for violating church tradition caused the Pope to reconsider that decision. It was Pope Innocent's successor, Pope Alexander IV, who canonized St. Clair just two years later on the Feast of the Assumption in the year 1255. And so it was that 765 years ago, Pope Alexander, during her canonization, referred to her name, Clare, or in Italian, Chiara, which means or refers to light. He said this about St. Clair during her canonization. He said, How vivid is the power of this light, and how strong is the glow of this luminous source of light. Indeed, this light was kept closed in the concealment of cloistered life, and yet radiated outward luminous shimmers. It gathered in a cramped monastery, and yet spread out to the vastness of the world. Kept inside, her light spread. Claire was hidden, but her life was revealed to all. Claire was silent, but her fame cried out. The life of St. Claire is itself a gospel paradox, concealed and yet revealed, small and unknown yet powerful, cloistered but the friend of popes, hidden but somehow famous, materially poor but rich in faith, beyond all telling. She was born into a wealthy noble family in Assisi, the daughter of Count Favarone di Offreduccio. She refused marriage and became fascinated by the preaching of St. Francis of Assisi. And so when she was about 18 years old, on Palm Sunday, she fled from the side door of her father's house to join Francis and his companions. He cut her hair, her beautiful blonde hair, like a penitent, and had her wear a habit. He took her to the nearby Benedictine monastery, and she eventually founded what we know as the Poor Clares, and she immersed herself in a life of prayer. To this day, you will find the cloistered Poor Clares, the sisters in Assisi, who are dedicated completely to a life of prayer and contemplation. There are two miracles worth noting in her, in her life. Perhaps you've seen St. Clair depicted in art, represented holding the monstrance with the Blessed Sacrament before her, something unusual for a saint who is not a priest to be holding the monstrance. And her depiction of holding the Blessed Sacrament comes from the moment when Claire defended her convent from Muslim invaders 
by raising the monstrance in front of the soldiers who were scaling the wall. Legend tells us that they fell off the ladder at the moment and the whole company fled before the Blessed Sacrament. The other miracle attributed to her life was when she was too ill later in her life to attend Holy Mass on Midnight Mass at Christmas. And so it was through a vision that St. Clair was able to be present for the Midnight Mass. And it is for this reason that the Holy Father, Pope Pius XII, declared St. Clair to be the patroness of television, a miracle worth mentioning to so many of you who are watching this live stream Mass and experiencing a similar miracle in this moment. And so as we consider her life today, we understand the words of our Lord in the Gospel, everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that the life and the love of St. Clair of Assisi for our Lord and his church will inspire each one of us to give ourselves completely to him who is love itself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Trusting in the Lord's love and care, let us pray for the needs of the world. For the members of the church throughout the world, may the Lord give us the grace to be like children, open and trusting in his word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may God fill them with the spirit of humility and service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children everywhere, especially those who suffer abuse, neglect, or violence of any kind, and those who advocate for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord increase us in faith, hope, and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may the Lord welcome them into his kingdom and rejoice with our Blessed Mother and with St. Clair and all the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And on this day when we remember the life and the holiness of St. Clair, let us pray for all of the poor Clares in the world, those in our diocese, and those throughout the world who pray for us in gratitude for their example, and that the Lord might continue to strengthen them in their vocation. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in a moment of silence, let's come before the Lord, offering our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember Edward Folds, for whom this Mass is offered. For him we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and eternal Father, hear these prayers we humbly bring before you, and answer them in accordance with your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble self to share in our humanity. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, our God, that the Virgin, Blessed Claire, your faithful spouse, may stir up in our hearts the flame of divine love which she inspired and in other virgins to the enduring glory of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and through the example of blessed Claire, be renewed by growth in the heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and to bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us together make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fleeting world, so that following the example of blessed Claire, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.